There are two problems that foresters are faced with when regenerating a forest. The first difficulty is predicting how the timber market, where we want to sell our product, is going to develop over the next 50 to 150 years. The second difficulty is foreseeing how climate change or other factors might impact the growing conditions for trees. Um diese beiden Risiken zu begrenzen, there are two ways of minimizing these risks. The first is by avoiding monocultures and creating a mixed forest. Zweitens, and the second is creating a stable forest by appropriate management. In this case, the ideal solution for a forester is natural regeneration, by which the young plant can naturally develop its root system. However, natural regeneration is not always possible. Sometimes it's prevented by grass or other weeds, or if it is possible, the species are not suitable. In these cases, the solution is artificial regeneration, for which we recommend using comparatively small plants, one to two year old seedlings, as their root development is closest to that of a natural regeneration seedling. Before we with the plants begin, before planting, we assess the quality of the planting stock. It's more economical to examine the plants at this stage and discard the ones which show quality problems. Roots should be examined carefully to check if there are enough fine roots or if the taproot is too long. This is the case, we have to do a cutting. This, however, should not be conducted on roots thicker than 3 to 4 millimeters, otherwise no new taproot will develop. Planting with a planting spade, it's important that the planting hole is large enough so as not to compress the roots, to allow them to spread and allow soil to be placed around them. A last blow with the spade ensures that the plant is secure fixed in the ground. Then it's recommended to test whether it's possible to pull out the plant out of the hole. This should be firmly set, so that it cannot be pulled out. Only afterwards, the soil around the plant is firmly pressed with the boots. Now this small plant can grow. It has of course certain disadvantages and problems compared to a larger plant. That's why we have to protect it. We need to protect it, for example, against game, browsing or robbing their antlers against the plant. We also have to protect it against competing flora like grass, ferns as well as other trees which may overgrow it. For this we recommend the Ventex tree shelter from Tubex. The key benefits of Ventex are better survival rates and better growth due to a favorable microclimate inside the shelter. The ventilation holes at the bottom of the shelter optimize the CO2 supply and this enables the plant to come out of the shelter in a short time. Thus, the disadvantages of the small plant, compared to a large one, will be more than offset in one or two years. When installing the tube, we must take care to place the acacia stake on the northeastern side of the plant, so that the shade of the stake is not cast on the plant. It's mounted with two cable ties, as tight as possible, and a back pull so that the tube is stable and protects the plant. Then the plant can soon look like the other ones in its vicinity, which were planted two years ago and are out of the tree shelters now. The 
The little seedling could look like this beautiful stately tree, which was planted inside a Tubex tree shelter 10 years ago, after the Lothar storm. So what silvicultural conditions are especially suitable for tree shelter applications? In clear areas, following calamities caused by storms or pests, when enriching the forest with new species due to climate change or other factors, in cases when individual protection is preferable to a fence, or where there's competition from weeds, ferns or blackberries, or there's a risk of the young seedling being damaged by deer browsing or field mice. Wo wir Reh oder Rotwild verbiss haben oder wo Mäuse oder Hasen den kleinen Zähmen annahmen. In addition annahmen. to all of these different Aber scenarios, the use of tree shelters is beneficial anywhere. After 10 years, a calculation is done as to which options cheaper, individual protection or fencing. Our experience has shown that individual protection is more economic.